Whether you're carrying a gun or not, if you are in the driver's seat and all the chips are down, don't shoot, drive. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from the original Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Palm pepper spray has recently reformulated for even more effect when you bless the deserving with the hot sauce. Palm is what I use between a harsh word and a gun and encourage everyone to do likewise. Another night in Sao Paulo, you see this SUV drive in when that little sedan pulls over and does the pinch maneuver we've seen many times. As they jump out of the vehicle though, the driver goes nope and decides to hit the reverse, get the heck out of there. Of course, the attackers are going to follow and so they start to make a three point turn here and as they get into that three point turn, our intended victim gets the heck out of there and gets away. The, the carjackers drive off too. We get to think about lessons. I got a question for you out of this one. I know if I wanted to grow active self-protection and just have as many subscribers as I possibly could and as many videos as I possibly could, as many views that is, that I would post nothing but good guys winning via using firearms. But I actually think lessons like this are really important. Do you agree or are you like, eh, I'd rather see somebody get shot every day? Let me know. I would say the number one thing in your vehicle is paying attention not just to what's in front of you. I see so many drivers, they're totally fixated on what's coming through the windshield. They're not paying attention to their mirrors at all. Not only is that good, evasive, and defensive driving, that's, that's this idea of you know seeing what's going on in your world so you know if somebody's trying to pass you or something like that, but it also lets you see when somebody's trying to come around you like this or to see if someone is following you. And, and I don't know if somebody was following them in this particular case or what, I can tell you though that, that paying attention to your mirrors and having a little bit more than just what's coming through the, the windscreen at you is really wise. So pay attention. This is number one all the time. And just seeing in your mirrors to see what traffic is doing around you is really wise, but also because you can detect patterns. And if somebody is following you, go another direction, you know, uh, get on the phone with dispatch, get some help or whatever, or drive to your local police station is always a way that you can maybe get some help. Now, start the pinch maneuver and of course, reverse happens. And I can't tell you enough, I think not just defensive driving, but, but maybe at some level of evasive driving is smart because this driver has to drive quickly in reverse. I don't think too many drivers have the actual skill set to go in reverse in their vehicle at any speed. Of course, vehicle's gonna have a, a lower speed because it's only got one gear in reverse for the vast majority of vehicles. But to be able to put the hammer down and get the heck out of there quickly is a skill not too many have. Very difficult one to practice in a non-training environment as well. So sometimes an evasive driving class would not be a bad thing. And, and I think it's helpful, you know, especially you're learning defensive driving and those kinds of things. But also thinking that the vehicle works best in forward gear. And so he gets out of there when they start making that turn and escapes from the danger zone. That is correct. Final thing I will say here, the driver did a good thing. I don't even really care if the driver has a firearm on their person in this particular video. If you're in the driver's seat of the car, your primary responsibility is to drive. Not to think about drawing your pistol and going to guns against guys and all that stuff, but to be the driver and, and to use the vehicle as it is almost always the best tool to cover your ASP. 